Welcome Leo to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 17th of July. This week begins in dramatic fashion. The North Node returns to the sign of Aries which shares your fire triplicity for the first time in 17 years. Over the next 18 months this gives you an awesome opportunity to download new ways of thinking about things and evolving your philosophies in some way. But the North Node immediately forges a beautiful link to Venus in your sign, which is very much about your personal identity and your attractiveness. Now, the big news story will be of Venus going retrograde on Sunday for 44 days. But I feel that it's important to look at this North Node Venus link, this trine. So Venus in your sign has been giving you an opportunity to think and feel differently about your personal presentation, but also to identify more with what makes you individual. That's really exciting. Remember Venus is about desire and also relating, but Venus in our own sign can make us more single-minded to get what we need as an individual. So I think what the node can do is give you more information, more sources of looking at things in an evolving way to help strengthen your personal identity. But this is challenged in a paradoxical way by the moon, the new moon being in your 12th house, which is much more to do with the subconscious, the psychological. Now that's forging a terrific link with Uranus, so what you're doing behind the scenes can play out in time over the next month positively around your work or worldly interaction as long as you can be flexible. But that flexibility could be tested this week because Mercury in your sign is squaring with Jupiter initially and then with Uranus. So something about how you want to be as an individual may not quite mesh with how someone wants you to be when it comes to your worldly role. Now that's not new, we're all dealing with different contra pressures in terms of people's expectations but I think uh, Venus and Mercury definitely want you to stick with what you feel really helps to highlight uh, your individuality whereas the role of Uranus and Jupiter is to highlight the expectations that others have if you want to fit in on their terms. So that creates a kind of contrast and attention. Now also this week Mars and Saturn continue to be broadly in opposition and that comes into an exact opposition on Thursday. So if there are financial pushes and pulls around your situation, that can create some tension for sure. But then it is the Sun and Pluto that go opposite and crossing over their opposition, creating a grand cardinal fixed cross, is the North and South nodes. And that is quite complex. So I think the 12th house energy of the sun is asking you to stay in touch with your instincts. Venus and, and Mercury are asking you to stay in touch with what makes you individual. Jupiter and Uranus are providing opportunities in your professional situation, but you may have to flex in order to seize these. You may not be able to get them totally on your own terms. And I think your sensitivity generally is going to be heightened by that grand fixed cross on Saturday. Then Venus slams on the brakes. This is quite the week. I can't remember a week, to be honest, that is quite as complex as this for a very long time. So what do we draw down from this? What's the message that we can take from this week? I think one of the things that's important for Leo people is to not let your pride totally um, totally define who you are. It's important to have pride and self-respect. So your appearance is something that's very important to you at the moment, as is your creative output. But there's another part of the energy this week which is asking you to be very conscious of how things feel, but also some of the strands within that of the things that we can find difficult to talk about. For example, our anxieties, or where we feel that there may be um, some uh, some emotions that are trapped from the past that we've yet to fully uh, resolve. So one of the lovely things about the North Node in the Ninth House is it can provide a lot of illumination 
in terms of the higher truth, the ninth house, your truth. It's just that the conversations you have this week may at times feel quite highly charged and it may feel that you're not getting everything you need. Just be aware that this is going to be true for every single zodiac sign. So don't let the pride of Mercury and Venus stop you from going with the flow that we're all needing to readjust to this new reality. With Venus going into a retrograde at the end of the week, if you are in a relationship where you feel that your partner doesn't honour what makes you totally you, then I, I do feel that you are going to have a period of deep reflection. But also, even if you're single, Venus retrograde could just see you rethinking who you are and what is your identity. So this is not a time when I feel that you're so attuned to relating to others. I feel you're needing to work some things out in the inner dimension of your being. And if you stick with the program, I feel there's a lot of progress to be made. I'd just like to share with you my very special opportunity. If you ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 2023 completely free of charge. And in my special package of 30% off, and these charts are very good value. Please do check out the cost of them. You will get your character analysis, your life roadmap report, which can help you to understand the patterns that are played out in your situation throughout your time in this life and get a much sharper appreciation of how you can work with your qualities and also uh, negotiate the challenges that we inevitably all have. Please see underneath this video for more.